Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a decent chunk of time since I've made a video or uploaded anything. Um, there's a lot of things that have been happening. So, yeah. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> um, I am not in the same place. I'm not in the same household. Um, I live with my boyfriend now. And it's kind of taken me a little bit to figure out like a good setup for taking pictures and content. I have been wanting to start YouTube back up again for quite some time. I've just had underlying brain blockages to get over, I guess. Ever since I started doing my job, you know, um, I've been kind of not wanting to make YouTube videos because I feel like weird about it, I guess. Um, which I shouldn't because like I can make fucking, I can make wholesome content too. The other day I was going through my old videos and I realized that my pet play tag that I did almost a year ago was doing really good for some reason. And I was like, okay, interesting. When I made that video, I was in a really weird spot in my life. I was kind of still getting through a rough patch, if you will. So I thought I would redo my pet play tag a year later in a different situation. <laughs> so the questions are from my previous video. Obviously, I'll put that in the card wherever it is. I don't fucking know anymore. I haven't done this YouTube thing in a long time. These questions are originally from Evie Lupine on YouTube. I don't know, I don't think she was like the original creator of this, but that was the video I used to get the questions initially, so. Well, question number one, what pet are you? Uh, if it's not obvious, I am a kitten. I'm also a puppy and a bunny. Number two, how long have you known about pet play? I want to say four or five years now which is probably not a good thing. I don't think children should really know what this is. But also I wasn't fucking, I don't know, in a long time, since like, since I first got into high school. Number three, do you have an owner, master, trainer, or guardian? If so, what do you refer to them as? I do, I have a dom. Um, he's also just my boyfriend. It just so happens that I met another person that was interested in the same kind of shit that I'm into. So I was like, mm. <laughs> that's kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, I will just refer to him as his name or daddy or <laughs> um, sometimes sir. That's pretty much it. Or just like typical vanilla pet names. Number four, are you colored? No, because I'm not married. Number five, do you have collars slash collars? If so, how many do you have? Um, I do. I have a lot. I actually haven't counted them in quite some time because I typically wear the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, this is the collar that I purchased pretty soon after I got into a relationship with my boyfriend. Um, he bought the tag and I got the collar from the kitten collection on Etsy and it's just black biothane with the locking buckle and little spikes on it. Um, the tag is from some UK Etsy shop, but I really like it and I think I'm going to get more tags from there to put on my other ones. But yeah, this is the one I wear most of the time, literally 99.8% percent of the time just because it has my tag on it number six favorite type of gear um a year ago it would have been ears i think now it's collars just because i can wear them in literally any situation and it's not weird you know i mean it's not weird if i wear ears in any situation but like people aren't used to it when you leave the house so like a collar is a little less, oh, pet play, you know? So yeah, 
probably collars or like other stuff you know like that kind of stuff <laughs> number seven favorite thing about the pet play community um i like making the content that i do but i don't really know if that's like a part of the community you know i really like seeing different like pet play oriented shops pop up because there have been a lot of smaller shops lately that have been making some pretty fire ears and I've been like okay Jackie we need to chill because I'm trying to save some money right now don't need to buy any ears number eight favorite toy I don't really play with toys in kitten space I have some toys for when I'm in more of a puppy space like i have a cat toy but it's not used as a cat toy i mean it can be so i guess that <laughs> number 10 wait number nine number nine favorite thing to do as a pet um i don't know if it's like as a pet but i, I guess it is oh my god my dog is so cute it's not necessarily something specific that I like do or like seek out um, but just like day to day life I have certain rules that I have to follow and it just sort of puts me in my place and reminds me that I am a pet and yeah I can make a whole video about my rules if you want me to um, number 10 any other accessories non-gear wise you like to wear while in pet space um i have a harness that i got that I, that I can wear sometimes i have a tiny leash that attaches to my collar that's from the kitten collection too i have cuffs those are all gear though so like i don't know i like baggy shirts Really big shirts and big sweatshirts and comfy pants. Soft things. I like lots of soft things because I'm a very sensory, sensitive person. And I need everything to feel nice. <laughs> Number 11. One thing you would never do as a pet. This keeps changing because, like, I think last year I said something about, like, litter boxes or whatever because, like, I was like, ooh, weird, right? I've seen some shit. I used to consider myself a brat, mostly. Um, but, like, I'm not anymore. At least in this dynamic right now. I'm not at all a brat. I just want to be good and behave. So, I would say being a brat now... Not a thing anymore. <laughs> okay, I was on the last question. Wow. <laughs> um, number 12, one thing you love most about being a pet. I think that would be the level that it takes your relationship to. Um, and just the level of trust that you need for the person that you're with. And I guess I for detail because... Sometimes I can't communicate things properly due to a lot of shit that's happened in the past. And, um, my boyfriend can kind of understand, I guess. It does add a level of intensity to your relationship and it's really nice. It I feel like it's allowed me and my partner to almost like bond quicker, if that makes sense. So that is it for the pet play tag. I hope that this video wasn't too awkward. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so we're still figuring things out. If you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more pet play content in the future. All of my social media is linked in the description box down below along with my sites and everything else. I wanna start posting more videos more frequently so we'll see if that happens <laughs> um other than that i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you on my next video bye